Hey, thanks for sticking with us. Uh, Buna from Basil and Rose. Where's, where's your nursery located at? In Bountiful. In Bountiful. Is it a big nursery? What, how would you describe it to those of us who have never been there? Well, I wouldn't call it a nursery. Okay. It's something unique. So we focus on edible plants, herbs, organic gardening supplies, and things with that theme. So jewelry, dish towels, cooking supplies, all kinds of things with that theme. Yeah. Now, I don't want to freak people out because we are talking about, you know, plants and gardening and things of like that. They might say, oh, I think it's too early. What are you doing, Big Buddha? It's too early. So it's not. It's not. Okay, so help us out. What are we talking so, about? So you can actually start planting stuff right in your garden next month. So okay. by March. So some things you want to start ahead of time by seed, so you're putting the plant out. Things like peas, lettuce, spinach, you just plant right in the garden. But other things like cabbage, cilantro, you okay. can put cilantro out too, but it's nice to start it ahead so that it's more ready. So then you can plant the plant out in March, and it can handle some frost, and it'll be just fine. Okay. See, you, 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 I was, I had all these lists of questions. You just answered it all in that statement. I was oh, worried great. about the frost. Yes. That's what I was really worried about. So things that we eat the leaves of, other than basil, most of that can handle frost just fine. Okay. So lettuce, spinach, arugula, um, cabbage. But some of those things you just want to plant right from seed in the garden. But cabbage, you can start early. This is basil. You don't want to put that out till May, but it doesn't hurt to start it now. Okay. There's some cilantro. These two things I started at the same time just to give you an idea. So I planted different things in here. There's cilantro, purple basil, um, celery. And the difference here is I put this one near a window and I put this one under lights. Okay. And you can see that this one's a little taller and skinnier yeah. than this. So I just put a shop light and had the light about two inches above where this is in the window, which it still works if you don't have any lighting to do that. All right, well, let's, let's sh show me how to do this. And so there's lots of ways to do it, but one of the easiest ways, if you've never done it before, we sell these kits, and these little pellets are made out of core, which is the leftover hairy part on the outside of a coconut. Mm -hmm. And you just, we'll just do one. Kay. So just pour some water in there. Anybody can pour water, right? Yeah. That's pretty easy. So normally you'd have, you want more than that. Oh, just well, pour a bunch. Okay. If there's extra, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of thrive on water, guys. So, yeah. n and we might not have time for this to puff up for you to plant it, but it will puff up so it'll be like this. And then you just plant a seed in there. Mm -hmm. It comes with a plastic cover. You can just put it, I put it on top of the water heater. It's usually up in three days. Take the cover off as soon as it's up and put it under light. Now, when do you transfer it to a bigger pot? So, usually I just put them right in the garden. If you need to gotcha. transfer it to something bigger, it's got a lot of roots and leaves, then you would just put it to something a little bit bigger. It can be a plastic pot. Now, this is a core pot. It's made out of the hairy mm -hmm. stuff from a coconut. You can plant directly in this using a potting soil, I mean, a seed starting mix. So this is it dry, and it's a seed starting mix. You get it wet, you put it in here, and then you plant seeds, just plant them about two inches, or um, not two inches, two times bigger than the seed. So gotcha. if it's a really tiny seed, it doesn't go very deep. Right. Now and what about pests? Or should I worry about pests right at this stage? There's usually not a pest problem. Just don't overwater. So you don't want things soaking wet. Mm -hmm. You just want them a little damp. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we feel a little bit smarter thanks to Buna and Basil Rose. For more information, go to the website. It's right there. Our website is fox13now.com. Thank you so much.